Hi everyone, this is Grace, and as you can see in the viewfinder, my little furball is up on my desk. I've got a little bit of ice for him. Um, our AC has broken down, and it is blazing hot in Southern California, so I've got that portable little um, fan here to kind of keep him cool. I know, living the life of a prince. Hello, my little canine prince. Anyway, I um, wanted to share with you a little bit more of the house mouse entries that have come in. So I, I'm trying to maneuver a little bit with Bentley on the desk. Um, but hold on. All right, I think we can do it from this orientation. Um, I am on the other side of the desk, and there's a little furball. Um, anyway, so this is actually a beautiful gift box, an altered gift box from Love Lovekins. And I know I'm finally getting around to sharing this. And she was so sweet. She said she saw this display at one of her stores. And then she asked them if she could just have it because um, she knew I would love it and appreciate it. So wouldn't that be really cute just to put things on inside? So anyway, um, let me share with you this beautiful box. I did put a picture of it on Instagram, but I don't think that picture does it any justice. So take a look. She took one of these um, boxes. I'm assuming this is from Michael's, but do you guys see the detail lacing that she's used? And it's two different types of lace. So we've got one here and then another one here. And then she glued down these nice metal um, corners and then this here with the flowers and these are very beautiful flowers and then she used these little flat back pearl you know types as the centerpieces of this flower and then she's got it here again and then these butterflies and then a doily here and then this beautiful white plume feather and then this one here and a little bit sprig here. And then she's got this beautiful um, holographic um, hello. So, and then again, got those corners here. Isn't this beautiful, you guys? Oh my goodness. So pretty. It's almost like I'm viewing a, you know, an array of flowers and then the Eiffel Tower is in the background. And I have to admit, Eiffel Tower during spring, I wasn't there during spring. You know, we always went during the beginning of summer, but, you know, back, you know, during summer, still the flowers are in bloom and it's absolutely gorgeous. So, so pretty. Anyway, thank you so much, Love Lovekins. Now, guys, let's peek inside what she sent me because, yeah. I peeked inside and then I stopped myself and told myself, wait until you film to give me more incentive to film, right? Hold on. All right, so when I open the box, this is what I see. And this is her entry. Hold on. All right, so these are Love Lovekin's entries. This is her ATC. How pretty is that? Look at all these elements. Is that a, is that a hibiscus or a plumeria? such a pretty flower anyway and then she popped there's a little bit of dimension there and here and oh so pretty and then this little butterfly and the flowers ah oh, she's so adorable this little kid this little mousy and then this is the card so pretty thank you so much and oh my goodness you guys do you see these hearts how they're kind of metallic shimmery and then the cupcake and <gasps> she's so cute and then look the little ball on her hat is a pom-pom and this is glazed as well let me see if i can open this to see if it's really personal and then not share it or mm, i better not but take a look this is what she has on the inside isn't that pretty and then on the other side, she has written this beautiful note. And then this is her stamp, made with love, love, lovekins. Oh, that's cute. So thank you so much, love, lovekins. Great entry. I'm going to have so much fun adding it to my collection. The Wall of House Mouse is going to be such a... Um, it will take me some time to put it together, I think, just because I want to position it right and not have it look you know, disorderly, but anyway, 
Can you imagine? She sent me all of this. Actually, she didn't send it to me. She g gave it to me <laughs> because I saw her. So um, here, let me share with you. She created this little box here. And oh my goodness. Here, hold on. Ah, I love it. Oh, so this is the little guy and I love the flying ace. So I think this is, I think Munchkin, right? Must have given this to me. So thank you, Munchkin. If it wasn't Munchkin and it was actually Pumpkin, then thank you, Pumpkin. Oh, you guys are so sweet to sacrifice your little Snoopy toy. So those of you who are like, what is she talking about? Um, Love Lovekins was telling me that she asked one of her daughters if she could give her Snoopy toy to me because she knew that I liked Snoopy and her daughter was ge very generous and said, sure, mom, you can give it to Aunt Grace. So, oh, I will definitely keep it in my office with all of my other Snoopy figurines. Um, I know you guys are probably thinking, wow, she has toys. I do have a toy collection. <laughs> And I think my students, college students, think it's kind of cute that when they come to office hours, I have these like Snoopy figurines and Peanuts gang figurines for them to look at. I had this one um, girl come in and she, as I was, you know, finishing up on something, I, I asked her to, you know, just kind of sit and wait a little bit. I looked up and she was like looking at all of the decoration in my office and she was saying, oh, I love the fact that you have all these like homey, like cute things around your office. So <sighs> technique was successful. Then my students feel at home when they come to my office. Anyway, oh, this is so cute. Thank you. So a little butterfly. Can you guys sense like a summer spring theme going on here? Ugh. Oh, this is a really beautiful cross. <gasps> Thank you. I actually need to make more um, offering envelopes, so I may end up using that sooner rather than later. Oh, this is so pretty. <gasps> Thank you. This little notebook and then this beautiful pen. Oh, these are too cute. Oh my goodness, how cute are these? And I love these little pins. Thank you. Whoops. Oh, they're ladybug erasers. You guys know what I do with these erasers, though? I don't actually use them. I um, display them on my desk. Um, I have Daiso sells some, like, food ones, too. So I ended up getting a food um, eraser set from a student and so I just display it so those little ladybugs are going to go there on display <gasps> oh my goodness these are so cute owl ribbon oh look how cute these owls are okay I'm gonna have to think of a project on which to use that because I certainly don't want to use it frivolously oh thank you I am always using these paste flags Oh, thank you. So cute. Foxes and owls. These are cute too, but those two in particular. You guys know I have a weakness for owls and foxes. And speaking of owls, <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So I am all set for back to school because you guys know um, I teach English. And so those page flags and paper clips. <gasps> My students are going to be so envious of all these cute little paper clips. Actually, it's not even my, you know, students. It's my colleagues. Remember how I told you I have a crafty colleague? Yep, she and I are always talking about cute paper clips and things like that. Oh, this is so cute. Thank you. This would actually be really great um, to use, you know, when you string up some twine. And then these can be the things that you use to pin up um, photos. Right, and then it's not just a decorative piece, but it says spring and things like that. <gasps> Such pretty paper tags. Oh my gosh, these are really pretty. Does it show? No, it doesn't show. Wow, thank you. Oh, rub on transfers. Oh, these are going to be so pretty to work with. Ah, I love it. Shaker stickers, especially this little... 
turtle, uh, joie de vivre. This must be the French collection. C'est bon. And then this, of course, Italian. Ciao, Bella. So cute. Oh, and there's another turtle. Hooray! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. So, Love Lovekins has been totally keeping track of the things that I love. Because, look, she has littered this with bunnies and turtles. The bunnies down here. Turtles and foxes and owls. Oh, this is so sweet of you. <gasps> so cute. I think I had, like, I was tempted to get this, but I didn't. I ended up passing on it. So this is going to be so much fun. And I love how it's a layering stamp, too. Oh, I feel like I need to take a sabbatical. <laughs> So that I could just play with all of these. I know, school starts in a little under a month for me now. So trying to get all of the syllabi finalized. We're starting a new class for freshman composition. And so I need to kind of tweak and adjust. Um, actually, there's no adjusting. It's just going to be a whole brand new class that I need to set up. So that's going to take some time. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, that's pretty. La Dolce Vita, Joie de Vivre. Aww. These layering stamps look so pretty. Can't wait to try those out. And then she sent me, or she gifted me, since I was there when she handed me the bag, um, 